Good evening and welcome to the news. I'm Dinesh Rentley. Here's here are today's headlines. Indo-Bangladesh border fencing along Jaintia Hills delayed due to land acquisition problem. Government expresses concern over the rise of border crimes. Government to sanction funds for installing entry and exit points along the Shillong to Guwahati Road soon, says Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong. Completion of the interstate bus terminal project at Maulai, Maoyong delayed due to non-release of funds by the centre, says Transport Minister Snyao Bhalangdhar. And Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat stresses on the need to take strong global action against those sponsoring terrorism. The news in detail. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar and Foreign Minister of Iran Dr. Mohammad Javad Zarif held a bilateral meeting on the sidelines of the Raisina Dialogue in New Delhi today. Both leaders recalled positive outcomes of J. Shankar's recent visit to Tehran for the 19th Joint Commission meeting, especially for strengthening bilateral trade and promoting connectivity initiative through Chabahar port. Both sides have also agreed to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the bilateral treaty of friendship this year. The two sides also exchanged views on regional and global issues of mutual interest, including the recent developments in the West Asia region and the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Meghalaya Transport Minister Sniabalang Dhar said that he, will not he would not like to comment on the CBI probe into the alleged illegal transportation of coal. Talking to reporters here today, Dhar said that he will not comment on this issue since this matter does not fall under his department. Meghalaya Transport Minister, however, said that Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong had stated that the government welcomes the CBI probe. He further clarified that the job of the Transport Department was only to measure the coal which is transported through the way bridges. There is such thing, whatever our leader of the government, Simbisa, whatever he decides is fine now. There is his, his on the top of me. I cannot comment to you which is not at my level. And did you see him I have seen that yesterday or did you put that we are welcome and such thing? Me I can explain to you, I can give you only which those department which is related with me myself. It's not appropriate for me as a minister to clarify for other department with other ministers. Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong said that the Deputy Commissioners of the concerned districts are expected to hand over the land for setting up of entry and exit points. Talking to reporters recently, the Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister informed that the state government will soon be sanctioning the funds for installing entry and exit points along the Shillong to Guwahati Road. It may be mentioned that the government had proposed to set up around 41 locations for setting up of entry and exit points. Few places, I think, land is only to uh, hand over by the, by, the, by the respective deputy commissioners, okay? And as far as this Shilong, uh, Shilong uh, Guwati route to you saw, this status is like that. And I think by this year, we'll be able to give full sanction amount for installing that uh, entry, that entry point. So maybe, I think, we'll be able to complete as deal as possible. Meghalaya Transport Minister Snyabalang Dhar said that the completion of the interstate bus terminal project at Maulai, Maoyong is delayed due to non-release of funds by the centre. Talking to reporters here today, the Meghalaya Transport Minister said that the project would be completed as and when the pending funds of nearly 10 crore rupees is released by the centre. Informing on the status about the project, he said that almost 90% of the work of the project is completed. It may be mentioned that the state government had earlier wanted to inaugurate the project as a Christmas gift for the people of the state. This is especially for the central government's delayed release of one. That's why the project is We thought by Christmas would be able. And there's a get stop, uh, there is some you see problem of mistake yet to free and leave it late. So as soon as the phone is leaving, move in a positive manner. Me, myself, as a minister, I want to complete that earlier. So that uh, there will be traffic reduced problem. So many problems will be solved. 
Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong said that the fencing along the international border between India and Bangladesh needs to be completed. Talking to reporters here today, the Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister said the fencing in East Khasi Hills is almost done up to Dauki Bridge, adding that the real problem is in West Jaintia Hills area in view of the land issue. He said that there is a concern over security along the international border due to the rise of crimes, adding that if fencing is there, then crimes along the international border can be checked. Be it beaten up, be it anything, night time they'll come in a group, maybe 60, 70, 80, 100 of them, they'll just come and they'll take away everything. So if we have fencing, that can be stopped totally. From the government, so we are, we are, we are well ahead. Anything, suppose now recruiting or this, that, whatever, we are very, very uh, alert and we are very, very proactive on this to make sure that this does not happen. The staff of All India Radio Shillong and the North Eastern Services of All India Radio took the Swachta Park Quada pledge today at all India Radio Shillong to keep the surroundings and office premises clean, adhering to the vision of Clean India. Swachta Pakwada, a fortnight program to maintain cleanliness, is a part of the Swach Bharat Abhiyan, a ma massive mass movement that seeks to create a clean India. During the Swachta Pakwada, various activities were lined up to maintain the surroundings neat and clean. Chief of Defence Staff CDS General Bipin Rawat today stressed on the need to take strong global action against those who are sponsoring terrorism. He said there is a need to take the bull by its horns and strike at the root cause. Speaking at Raisina Dialogue 2020 in New Delhi, he said there has to be diplomatic isolation of those sponsoring terrorism and any country sponsoring terrorism has to be taken to task. He said a country cannot have partners who on the one hand are partnering in global war on terrorism and sponsoring terrorism on the other hand. He added, as long as there are states which sponsor terrorism, there will be terrorism and we will have to live with this menace. So long as there are going to be states that are going to be sponsoring terrorism, so long there are going to be states that are going to use terrorists as their proxies, make weapons available to them, make the funding for them, we cannot control terrorism. Anybody who is sponsoring terrorism has to be taken to task. You cannot have partners who are partnering with you in the global war on terror and yet sponsoring Proxies and terrors. Here's the weather report in The maximum temperature was 16.3 degrees Celsius with the minimum temperature at 6.3 degrees Celsius with no rainfall recorded. The weather forecast shows us Shillong and its adjoining areas will have generally cloudy skies. And for our viewers who missed out, here's a quick recap of today's headlines. Indo-Bangladesh border fencing along Jaintia Hills is delayed due to land acquisition problem. The government expresses concern over the rise of border crimes. Government to sanction funds for installing entry and exit points along the Shillong to Gohati Road soon, says Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong. Completion of the interstate bus terminal project at Maulai Maoyong delayed due to non-release of funds by the centre, says Transport Minister Snya Bhalang Dhan. And Chief of the Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat stresses on the need to take strong global action against those sponsoring terrorism. That's all the news we have for you today. Thank you for watching. We'll be back same time tomorrow. Have a good evening.